So the planet Saturn, I mean, it's it's the neatest planet we've got in our solar system. And it's got the rings around it and everything. It's just totally unique. It's got its own moons that trap around it. But one unique thing they found whenever they flew near it is it has this weird pattern on its polar surface. It's a little bit more than twice the size of the Earth. In fact, each little flat edge is about the size of the Earth. And this hexagon pattern, hopefully you can see it well there at the top of your screen. That's a little hexagon pattern. It's kind of like a stop sign, but now it's the hexagon pattern. And, uh, you know, that extrapolates a Jewish star. The odd thing about that is that the planet's name is Jupiter. And Pater is father in Greek. And so it sounds to me like Jew father. And they're the ones that have that star. That their God, their father, has this same similar star pattern onto it. You can find polar anomalies, and they try to recreate it, but they can't get it to look like the one on the right. They can get it to look like the one's other, but they can't get it to look on the right. They can make computer animated fluid dynamics, and it takes this real complex, inner turbulent atmosphere exactly at that little blue line outside of the solid blue that's a jet stream that's going faster than. One interesting effect, they find that it almost goes as fast as the planet is spinning around, but not quite. It lags a little bit. And I wonder if it's causing a lag in the planet. It's something that we really have to set some probes out there and look at, you know. And eventually, one of these days, I guess, we'll have this and we'll have this extra knowledge. But once the satellites went by the planet in the first place and started giving us pictures, I mean, we had no idea about this. And I don't know how the ancients knew about this. How do they equate Jupiter and have the Jewish star? And all these temples that are the temple of Baal Jupiter, Greeks call them Baal Jupiter, and it's got the planet, or the hexagon on top of the planet mark. There's the heck, there's the picture of it. It 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 swirls clouds up way high in the atmosphere when it does, and almost gives a circular appearance. But the whole guts of it is a hexagon. It looks just like this. A little smaller in representation to the planet. Apparently I heard that they couldn't make it the right size for the planet and even have it work out right. Well, even in a computer simulation, which seemed odd to me, they had to make it oversized and make the wind stronger than the ones that they measure. And then they could pull off something that looks like it. But if the, you also, I hear, if you look at the center of that, it has to keep swirling and turning off and swirling and turning off and swirling and turning off. But... A geometric pattern like this could possibly, with jet streams and things along that line, pull off something that tries to make a circular pattern on the top. But to believe that somehow it would exactingly pull off a shape like this due to some inner buffeting and turning back in is has got to be a far-fetched notion. It really does. But uh, in incredible correlation here, though, that I'm having with the whole thing is that this shape is the center of the Jewish star, which we'll go back into it after here, and we'll go back into these temples at Baalbek and places that are the ones that uh, the Jewish people were worshiping the incorrect God at, and uh, Canaanites and things, and they have the bull worship, and Taurus, and Jupiter worship, 